For more than two years, Joe Linton was the butt of the Newcastle jokes. How funny, Mike Ashley never wanted to open his wallet for fear of a northeast moth outbreak but then spent £40 million, 40 million, on Joe Linton. 26 games, 39 shots, and 2,130 minutes of action later, the Brazilian scored his first goal. Look up any polls from the time for biggest Premier League flop and Joe Linton will be near the top. Step forward Eddie Howe, the Newcastle boss came in, saw something no one else did, moved Joe Linton into midfield and, now, the question is how close he is to a call-up for Brazil. Newcastle are eight games unbeaten and Joe Linton's influence in the middle of the pitch has been crucial. No one in the Premier League has won more tackles since his move into midfield. Not Nagolo Kante, not Wilfried Ndidi. As Premier League transformations go, the renaissance of Joe Linton is one of the best. He, and how, are having the last laugh. Has Frank made toffees worse? How different things felt just a month ago. Frank Lampard had won his first Everton game, 4-1 over Brentford in the FA Cup, and had got Goodison Park rocking again. There was some belief at last, a sense of hope. A 3-0 victory over Leeds in the Premier League a week later only strengthened those views. Not anymore, they are into the FA Cup quarter-final but three straight league defeats, no goals scored and eight conceded have left the Toffees just a point above the relegation zone. Game in hand help but the underlying numbers suggest things have got even worse than under Rafa Benitez, and it was bad then. Gerard earns cash. Matty Cash has had his doubters over the years. No end product, they said. But since Steven Gerrard took over, with his focus on attacking full backs, Cash has thrived. Two goals and two assists in his last three games, his numbers are up there with the best. I've worked hard, said Cash. I don't have to prove to anyone I've got a final ball. There's been a few people doubt it. For it to come off and everyone see it is really good, Rogers backs Arteta on Aubameyang. Brendan Rogers believes opposite number Mikel Arteta has been vindicated over Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Arteta put his Arsenal legacy on the line when he dumped his former captain over disciplinary issues. Decisions like that are not easy but it's all about the spirit, the discipline and the manality to succeed, said Rogers. Now HES seeing the benefits within the team.